to, you know, say the Lions have something going on, they don't bring another truck in, or say the school has something going on, if we don't have another truck just popping they up. They didn't always need to have some kind of? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I always thought they had to have a special permit to set up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I make a motion that uh, yeah. Support. I'm okay. Sorry about it. Yeah. Mr. Mayor? Adoption. Okay, I'll make a motion to adopt the uh, Lions down to 250. You already did? I'm sorry. Stoops? Yes, I'm good. Wilson? Yes. Marder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider, Axon, Sofa? Yes. We also have to do the uh, resolution. Yes, that's right. Okay. It goes with it. Go ahead. Resolution only sets the uh, charges uh, to the uh, vendors, and uh, just the uh, the vendor ordinance shall be forty dollars, and the fee for the single event for men will be twenty dollars. So I make a motion to adopt the resolution on the fees. And I was just kind of wondering, though, on that, can you deny a permit if say somebody wants to bring a barbecue and there's already two barbecues already set up? Can you say no? Well, usually when you have something, you hire the vendors or okay it. So if you don't hire them, they shouldn't be there, and that's why they. Not if somebody else, if they, if somebody wants to come in on their own. Well, this is what this is for. Yeah. Most time, why do you ever turn them down? Nobody really comes in just to except Sage Creek Winery, but they all pay. Yeah, yeah they're 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 yeah, they're the that we've had anyway. Was that supported? No. Support. Okay, Wilson? Yes. Carter? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider, absent, sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Up next, Park and Rec, uh, St. Clair County Village Distribution for 2021. Looks like they're getting 1,600 and I don't know. $1,755 and uh, we would be using this for uh, some gravel and I'm guessing we're going to put this around some of our play yards and some new uh, playground equipment, a new grill out of the park. Yeah. Does it always get all has to go to that Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because some of the equipment that we have is a little outdated. Uh, you get a motion. I'll make a motion and uh, the 1755 uh, the Park and Recreation Village be uh, distributed as state. Support. Murder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Absent? <coughs> Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. All right. Oh. Uh, Bart, you're up here on this one. Uh, the first one is water and sewers and always from Dunright. Um, where was this? Was yeah, this? this would have been, I'd like to, well, I may have an address on here. Yeah, I do. 35241 uh, Boardman Road. Uh, that house, be, in essence, became a, their basement became a septic tank for yeah. um, a few homes there due to an issue that was going on. Uh, with the main, I will say the riser that comes out of the main. And uh, anyway, it had to be dug up. We had to rebuild. Um, I call it a tree, but the riser to put three homes back together into this riser. And then uh, this time I added a clean hole to it. But yeah, that address there, their basement. This was all new to. It just, it just runs. It was a brand new I got two trees over there that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Back in that store? Was it from that store? Was it from that no. store? No. No, this definitely was all roots. This yeah. was all age and roots. Yeah. It's been like 20 some years, I'm going to guess, maybe 20 plus years. 
that we had that issue with that same house. All right. Can I get a motion to pay the invoice for Dunray uh, sewer drain cleaning for the work done at 35241 Morgan Road? Actually, we'll make a motion and approve the invoice at 5600 from the Dunray. Right. Support. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider, Absent, Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Uh, next up, Martyr Sewer. Again, invoice from Talto Contracting. This one, even though it's a lower figure, uh, really was the, uh, could have turned into a catastrophe. This was the uh, sewer main that runs down the back. It's a forest main that runs uh, down uh, behind the homes on Cole Street and out to the lagoons. And being a forest main, potentially we could have flooded out. Uh, right, forest, forest main being a, a system that has a pump that lifts it and pushes it up. Yeah, you know, yeah pressure when the pumps are on there. Right. So uh, I needed assistance on it. We dug it up and that, but I had to call uh, Teltos in and uh, to assist putting this together. Uh, the pipe is something that uh, isn't commonly used at all these days. So we had to do some retrofitting and I couldn't leave it down, obviously. Well, I know Teltos have always been great with supporting us in the pitch. Yeah, they have been. Well, can I get the uh, motion to pay uh, the bill to Teltro, Telto, Telto contracting for the amount of $28,15.50? Make that motion. Support. Riley? Yes. Schneider Absent Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Well, for some reason here in my packet, I don't have anything on the uh, committee recommendation for Ontario. This oh, yeah, it's in here. It's your information. I'll yeah. see that now. So um, we have had an ongoing issue with Ontario, and anybody knows that it's whether it's not picking up garbage taking the recycling and throwing it into the regular truck. Uh, it's just, it's been ongoing. We've got a lot of it that has been recorded, a lot of it that has been recorded. Uh, you know, it's just one way that we're kind of looking at maybe getting out of our contract with Ontario, but we just want to try and move forward on this and see what we can do about it. You know, and I know that it's one of those where I've seen it. It's kind of like not just us. It's not just Ontario. It's a lot of the trash haulers are having issues with getting help and with what they get, they're dealing with the problem. But at the same time, um, for the entire time that we've had Ontario, it's weekly complaints about not picking up, taking receptacles when they're out full of garbage, and you know somebody puts out a new receptacle and they take the whole thing or not picking up recycling at certain sites or more garbage at certain sites. It's just, you know, last week, you know, where we had um, the pickup from where I gather was a, a large aquarium we put in the back of the truck. And every time they would cycle the compactor in the back of the truck and the blade would come out, it would dump everything that was loose on the bottom of the truck. Glass, nails, stuff like that every time they'd be stopping and so just Negligence and one just cleaning up after themselves. Um, and just an ongoing issue. I have called their local supervisor probably you know, less than 10 times myself, and they never pick up my calls, they never return my calls. Um, their supervisor does stop by here, and it's always our residents' problem, it's our residents' fault. I did call um, their supervisor, don't know about the glass. And he told me he'll look into it, get back with me, and I never heard back from him. Right. And their supervisor didn't stop in that week either. So we had to be our DPW for a man for a day to go around and sweep up and pick up all the debris that was on the road from there. Not to mention all the residents were out there doing it themselves. And yeah. five people got fires. Yeah. 
So what we're looking at is first of all, one with them request them to go back to a Thursday pickup. So if they do this something, they're able to come back around on a Friday instead of a Saturday or a Sunday to pick up what they may have missed. Is the city paying for the tires and then looking for a reimbursement? No, we're going to have a meeting with them first. We're going to have a meeting with them, Tara, and talk to them about it and see what their thoughts are. But, uh, a meeting scheduled yet? So anyways, I'd, I'd like a motion to move forward with doing something with them, Tara, whether it's severing the contract or trying to do something. I mean, it's just, it's been an ongoing problem. Um, I'd like to make a little comment on this. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, think, you know, uh, <coughs> we did get a, uh, Donald uh, requested some information or look from our lawyer, and I think it was attached to I think uh, uh, we do have to do something, but I think we, uh, since there's no, no uh, clause to get out of the contract, a lot of times there is, but we don't have well, that. In so the contract. That. <coughs> so it's a matter of, uh, of breach of contract, and I. And their breach of contract is not picking up all the trash. I think they've done that, but I, uh, I would like, uh, I think we should um, definitely have a meeting with them. I think uh, we should send possibly send all this information to our lawyer. Right. And in the past, we have had a meeting with them, and with again, that. they point the finger at our residents. This would be a third. You know, and, and not to say that they're completely wrong, because I have seen some of the stuff that people have put out, and it's stuff that would pretty much require a dumpster. <coughs> but I don't think that's always the, the, the problem. So. No, it's not. I, I mean, it, and. Uh, it's definitely a problem. I, I just want to make sure that uh, we try to minimize the law, uh, possible lawsuit because we don't have a great right. uh, 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 contract. So that's all. I, that's all. We want. Just take a look. should be a little careful about that. We've already, I know the DPW committee had a meeting with them, I think, quite a few years ago. And we had another meeting with them about a year ago. Yeah, not long, not yeah, long after they had signed the contract and they started, there was issues. We have, we have, really, we, we've, had we've had issues. Uh, we, we've had well, six years now. Yeah. Did a five year and then just signed up again. They were only bidders. And really, we, we've had complaints from the day they started. I could understand in the beginning, in the middle of town. Man. We had trouble getting them online with the recycling, and it's just been yeah. one thing after another. Yeah. I hate to ask. So, the uh, so, so what, 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 you, what, what, what would you like now, Samantha? What would you like? Wait, wait, um, wait, you know what? I don't want to check it. Because I've been in other places since it wasn't a work day. They might have got Monday off. I don't know. I'll check and let you know. I'll put it on the on website too. Okay. I think it is on the website already. The calendar, the calendar says they're picking up on Friday. On Friday, right the, calendar the calendar shows it. Regular, it? regular pickup on, on that calendar. Regular pickup. So at least, Larry, I guess what I think what we're looking for is a, I, I don't even know that we need to have a motion to set up meeting with them. No, I don't think, I just, I think we, but, should set, we should set up another face-to-face -face meeting you know, and address the issues again and, and then, you know, and give them all this good information with that so far. Is that going to be DPW staff setting up the committee meeting? No, or I think, no, I think the whole council. The whole council should be okay. We've we had meetings with the right. yeah. board. We had yeah. I think with the mayor was set on it. I think, I think, yeah, we should request them to attend the city council meeting. Yeah. It's a special meeting. A special one? Okay. No, I think it should be a regular council meeting. When did the council meet? Well, not a 30 day. I, I, oh, okay. That's fine. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Let's set up a council meeting, special council meeting. Yeah, I think I think that should be a meeting. And uh, right. we'll hold it in. It'll be a public meeting, right? Yes, it'll be a public meeting. It'll be posted. It'll be posted. It'll be posted. Great.
don't even know how to date or anything. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Moving forward, um, Comcast. Uh, this is uh, just uh, their local franchise agreement for doing business with Comcast, as we always have. Um, I don't know if everybody read through the whole contract. Well, I, we do, I think I would talk to John. We do this every 10 years. Yeah. I looked at the last one. And and it's, not, it's probably going to change as much. So, I got the last one here if anybody wants to see it. So that being said, can I get a motion to uh, allow us to sign into the, uh, the service group with Comcast again? Now you're absent, Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazer? Yes. Riley? Yes. All right, next up, uh, the Michigan Municipal League. Uh, we're looking for us to vote on their Board of Trustees, and if you see their ballot, um, <coughs> there's votes for five. There are five people, incumbents and or appointees. Um, can I get a motion to vote the ballot on those five people, please? I'll make the motion. Support. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Maser? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider Hampson. All right. <coughs> Next up, uh, giving Mr. Dunmore 80 hours of vacation pay, paying him for his vacation he's not able to take. He's working on training a new employee. Um, he's not able to take his vacation, so I'm going to make a motion that we give Bart a couple weeks pay. I can't make that motion, I'm sorry. Can I make a motion to make that? I'm going to try and get a week vacation because I need one. Okay. Yeah, well, you do 120 hours, correct? I'm, what is left? Maybe. <clears throat> There's no way. It's like tomorrow, but I can't take one tomorrow. I got samples. And, and anyways. Support. In fact, I might be doing yours on application. Or, okay. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazer? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider, Anson, Sofa? Yes. Well, for me, um, I'm glad to be back here in the Chamber of Council. You know, it's just nice to be here again. Um, and uh, I'm glad to see that with all the power outages that we've had in the surrounding areas, we have been affected. All the heat that we've got going on. I think we've got a busy summer going on here. It's nice to see that coming up again. Um, other than that, I have yeah, nothing else. Larry? Yes. Um, planning Commission on the 14th, which is next Wednesday, you know, have another public hearing on the marijuana growing operation on the state north of the city limits. And uh, I'm sure I'll be asked uh, when that will come up. Council, and so uh, we have uh, two options. We can have it just when we have a regular council meeting, or we can set up, like, which would be the uh, in, in all, our, I'm sorry, August, or we might have, could have a special meeting just to handle that. So that's that's one issue, and the other issue is if we have the same time <coughs> that we had uh, the last time, which I imagine. Will. Uh, I've already got, uh, I think, three letters I have to uh, read. And uh, therefore, I don't think we can have it here. I think we'll have to have it over the lines. But, so I, I just need direction from the council if I'm asked that question, how I should answer it. I, I would like to do a special meeting right away and get it over with one way or the other. If that's the case, then why don't we send it the following Tuesday? That's when we usually have it ready. Council meeting we had to, yeah. if that would be satisfactory. Yeah, that would be done over with once, okay. once it goes one way or right, and, and then I think we should have it over there rather than here because, as you know, you would I, 
I agree. Well, they might be tentative. It depends how the voting board. Pardon? They might not need it if the zoning board turns it down. No, it still has to come. No, it still has to come to council. Yeah. The planning commission only makes recommendations. Okay. Yeah. And, and then it's up to the council to make the final decision. They can go with the actually go with what the planning commission recommends, or they don't really have to. They, it's the planning commission makes the recommendation. So you have the third Tuesday. And so it'll be the uh, let me see. It'll be June or July. I'm sorry. It'll be July the twenty-first. Uh, I guess. Is this correct? No, this is the twenty. No. I got the wrong calendar here. So do I. Yeah. 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 Seven o'clock is that all right? Yeah, yeah we could probably. I mean, I don't know if we could do that here or there. I don't know. Well, we have, we have to, yeah, we'll have to make sure that we the planning we definitely. We should have it. We'll do it there because there probably will be a lot of people. Yeah, we'll do it there. And if not, make, make sure that it's open. Yeah. yeah, okay. So then, uh, yeah. I'll make a motion. I got you want me to make a motion on that or? Okay. We just agreed. Okay. All right, then. Then that's all I have. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Ken. Nothing, sir. Rob. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Jason. I have a motion to adjourn. I would just like council. I uh, want uh, to thank council for consideration on the beach. Make sure you take that. Thanks for everything you do. Take that week vacation. I got it. Sure,